Well, with Super Tuesday wrapped up, we've seen a pretty significant shakeup in 2020 U.S. election odds. But first, here's what happened over the past number of days. First, we saw Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar drop out of the running and endorse the man that has seen a pretty seismic shift in U.S. presidential odds, Joe Biden. More on Biden in a moment here. But then earlier on Wednesday, another candidate dropped out and endorsed Biden. That would be Michael Bloomberg. And then on Thursday, Elizabeth Warren called it quits on her bid, although she was around plus 15,000 in presidential odds. So very much a long shot. Okay, Biden, winner of Saturday's South Carolina primary and the guy that scored big wins on Super Tuesday. He was 20 to 1 last week, but is now plus 160 in U.S. presidential election odds. A stunning shift. That means that Bernie Sanders, who was plus 275 after Nevada, now sits at 12 to 1. And President Trump has certainly seen some odds movement as a result. The president, largely minus 175 last week, even touched minus 180 for a time, has now moved to minus 150 at the time of this recording, still clearly leading the odds board. Those are really the only three names that matter, though books do have Hillary Clinton at around plus 6,000 and Michelle Obama at plus 15,000 and so on. So the next important date on the 2020 U.S. election calendar is March the 10th, where we've got primaries in Idaho, Michigan, Mississippi, Missouri, North Dakota, and Washington. We are on top of everything odds-related in terms of 2020 election odds and U.S. election odds. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notifications to stay on top of everything as we update frequently.